Here at the Nerd Vault, we like 3D printers. So we got another one. Welcome back to the Nerd Vault. My name is Tom and today, as you can tell by the uh, thumbnail, by the title, we've got the new Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra. I just turned up today. If you saw any of our previous videos, we have the Neptune 4 Plus. Uh, to go alongside it, we've got this one. So we've got one FDM, one resin, and uh, let's crack into it. We have power. All important kettle lead, because being a musician, it's not like I've already got enough of these damn things. And we have the wonderful printer. That's upside down. Trust me to open this damn thing upside down. Use a manual, probably handy. Yep, there we go. We've got some stuff at the back here. Save that. Very light. <laughs> Little twist to twist on the bottom. Okay, here we go. Get rid of that. <laughs> thing is a boost. Now, this doesn't just lift off. Flips up. So you need a little bit of extra room on the back here for the for that. More foam. Let's get some. Uh, foam out of here here's oh box of stuff build plate with all the etching in it to help help your prints stick decent sized build plate and um, what I like about this one Done, ready to go. None of this ball joint bullshit. Now, straight in and off you go. Auto leveling, auto is the way to go. We have a box, we have two boxes. Let's check this out, what do we got? This one's very light. Ah, oh, so this must be the drip tray that goes on the front, which I think is a damn brilliant idea. This is really good. Quality is not good. Um, super cheap molded plastic, you can, you know. There might be a 3D print online that I can do on the FDM to get something a little bit better quality. But honestly, for what it is, it's good. It's like the old Creality LD, Something that's, uh, there's a video on the channel from when we were Nerdlings Asylum and resin got underneath. No good. Let's see what we get in the tool kit. So we've got standard stuff here. Um, your Allen keys, because I don't have enough Allen keys. But we've also got these, which I assume. In it in stuff. I don't know. That's what this might be for. To work it out. So we've got all of that kind of stuff. Some really cheap, nasty gloves. I'll get proper nitrile gloves. Much better. Here we have oh our power supply. Brick. 
Oh dang, the ACDC adapter. The filters, a plastic scraper, and a metal scraper, face masks, thumb drive, uh, the one for the FDM, the, the Neptune 4. Um, I don't use it anymore because it was a piece of shit. And I just sent everything wirelessly because behind me right there is my computer. So I'll be slicing everything, doing all the stuff over there. And I can just, you know, straight over. I didn't even whistle that. But we have the Wi-Fi that we can just straight in. Bob's your uncle. Look at that. Look at that. That's the way to go right there. Elegu and Chitu Books. Uh, I think this is uh, activate license within 12 months upon receiving the card. So I think that's uh, Chitu Box Pro, the Pro version for a little while, and then it's a subscription based service, which I detest. And that's it. We take off the, the wrapping here, take off the screen in there, and Plug her in, she's ready to go. That's what I like about resin printers. They are super quick and easy. That one, there was a lot of putting parts together. Was, like, not, I'm not saying that it was extremely difficult and I need an engineering degree to be able to put that together, but you know, that took a little bit of time, especially because I've never done one before, but it was, like, it was easy, very easy, just taking time to do it and do it properly. Uh, whereas this is, you know, you put that in and I mean, Job's done. Also, let's just... Not very satisfying. It was already kind of half off. It's like I'm unwrapping a sandwich at school. Eh. And there we go. Oh, yep. Yeah, no, that makes sense yet. Yeah. Take that off. And there we are. Get it off. Eh. I mean, this is this is nice. A lot of people complaining that the, they wanted a handle at the front here. Uh, realistically, that's not difficult. I mean, yeah, sure, you're getting fingerprints on it, but. Once she's full of resin, who cares? So let's get this thing set up. Start printing. So now that I've had a bit of a chance to play with the Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra, I've got a few thoughts. Overall, it is a fantastic resin printer. Overall, am I, do I regret this decision to purchase this one? Not even a little bit. There is no part of me that regrets my decision to purchase this. As you can see, I have a number of things that I've printed. Your typical miniatures that Let's be honest, a majority of resin 3D printing is going to be in miniature form. So I used to subscribe to Loot Studios and I printed off a whole bunch of one of the packs there. Everything came out amazing. Details flawless. The setup on this thing was a breeze and I, th there's not much that I had to do to calibrate it. I do have the the rooks there, the Elegoo rooks. Now, when I first got it, I only had the printer. So my curing process was a little janky to say the least. I would print and then I would hand wash in a pickle jar of uh, methylated spirits. And then I'd leave it out in the sun to dry. Now that 
isn't the best way to do this, not even by a long shot. If that's the only way that you can do it, fantastic. My last 3D printer, that was the only way that I could cure anything. So that was all I ever did. I did end up getting the mercury. So to get them running, hold them down for a couple of seconds. And here is our screen. It goes up in 30 second increments. So go two and a half minutes, push the button and away she goes. That's so much better. Now we've got lights around the outside here. It might be a bit hard to see them, but I promise that they're there. And that's basically a countdown with the countdown. Same goes for this one. We hold it down. 30 second increments. Push it. That's it. I don't know what more you want from me. That's it. That washes, that cures. This is the old one, because they've now recently come out with a much better setup. Uh, but th that, I, the, prints, the print quality and the difference is night and day. It's so much better, so long as you remember to let the print fully dry before you put it in the curing station. If not, uh, it gets a little janky. Doesn't do the best job, which I, I, I found out. Trust me, I know. So now that I know to fully let it dry, uh, yeah, it's a, a phenomenal, it's amazing, it's brilliant, I love it. Now, this wasn't without trials and tribulation, of course. It wasn't a, oh, it's printing perfectly, nothing has failed. I have here from, however you want to pronounce it, Berserk 3D, uh, the Batman bust. This is my first time ever printing something of this size. I've only ever printed down these little fellas, which they're easy. This, however, this tested me. Um, trying to get the settings right and calibrating it to do a large print like this. Yeah, I, um, I have, of course, got my... Fucking failure here. Um, so as you can see, uh, yeah, not everything worked. It almost worked, but yeah, she peeled away from the bill plate and got a little bit like that. There's a few pieces like that. Even some of the smaller ones peeled away a bit, but I eventually honed in my settings going through multiple Reddit threads and I, I got it to, to this point here where I'm happy with it. It's amazing, but one thing it, with, with this is it has an onboard camera, which is fantastic, but that I've read multiple things saying that the camera, the onboard camera detects failures. I beg to differ. I had multiple prints fail very early on. And upon leaving the print to, to do its thing while I went off and did other things, uh, and then the build plate would be up the top and there'd be nothing on it. So it tried printing the entire thing. Yeah, uh, no, it, it's the, having the camera 
is amazing. Don't get me wrong, but it is just that. It is just a camera. It is there so you can open up Chido Box Manager and you can watch it print. You can run time lapses, which are phenomenal. They're great for content creators. If you want to show people what you're printing, great. That's fantastic. But if you, if you go into this thinking, oh, maybe this camera is going to help me out and it will stop the print when it goes, hey, there's nothing on that build plate. Why are we printing? Let's stop it now. Um, yeah, you're gonna have a bad time. Now, I used up all of the resin that I bought for this printer. I used it all. Yeah. Uh, I obviously had the garage door open and this doesn't block UV perfectly because I left it for a few days and normally I wouldn't think twice about leaving it for a few days with resin in the vat. Um, but then when I came back to it, it, it was bad. It had separated, it had partly cured. Um, it, yeah, I lost a, like a full bottle because of that. It, it got real ugh, gross. Uh, anyway, I cleaned it out. And after using all of this, I then decided to try Sunlu. Now this is just the standard plus resin, but the bottle design, I, I love the bottle design on this. I found with this one that a lot of the resin stays in the bottle when you're trying to get the last little bit out. And it just, it builds up along here, wherever you're pouring it from, and it will just sit in here. Which, okay, cool. Not a big deal, but this one just, it's a bit smaller and it seems to really, really, really empty all of the resin out. And when you're trying to scrape out every last little drop that you can, I, I appreciate that. Uh, I've printed out a... That ain't coming back. Wow. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, so on the FDM printer, I did go ahead and print off this. Clips on, slips into there. So then you can put the tray here. It will then drip and you can let it drip out. And good as gold. So yeah, there is the Elegoo Saturn 4 Ultra. Um, there's a busted Batman bust now, which that's okay. I can now reprint that. I'm glad I haven't painted it. That's all I can say. I'm really glad, really, really glad I didn't get around to, to painting that. I would have been more devastated. Uh, mm, pro tip, be organized next time. So yeah. There we go, there it is. This is definitely going to get a lot of use. Everything that you see here in front of me, spoiler alert, that's for a future video. So if you're excited to see what I have planned for that, go ahead, do all of the stuff. You know what to do, I'm not gonna say it again, but this is the Nerd Vault. My name is Tommy, that is the Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra, and I'll see you in the next video.